Despot's game. I had a, a brief test of this one. It looks very, very interesting. Yeah, this is just a demo. I've only played about five minutes so far, and uh, yeah, I'm liking it. It's pretty good. But it's good to have you here. Thank you so much for joining me. I know it's late. Appreciate your presence nonetheless. Uh, let's jump in. The music is amazing. I love it. So you're the little people on the left, and you pick up items and you sort of form a battalion, and then in each room, you come up against other enemies. Um, it's a little bit confusing, but so we have $20 at the moment. This is our cash. This is the number of people we have and the number of people consume food. I'm not sure when that is or, or how long it works. You have to feed them, otherwise they perish. Um, and then you've got a whole ton of upgrades to get as well. So a cart full of secrets adds 30 attack. Let's buy it. Oh, you can actually drag them directly to one of these people. As far as I'm aware, this is not a weapon. Let's give it to this guy. He turns into some sort of other dude, right? Now he's got the cart full of secrets. It might be a weapon. It could be kind of a, like a siege weapon. I don't know yet. We'll figure it out. Charmed ring. 60 damage. Alright, this looks like uh, these are the same. Let's buy it all. And we'll buy one more dude. Just for, just for funsies. And then you can tell them where to go as well. So you can have him stand like right over here. That's it. Let's roll out. So room-based, much like, I don't know, every other one of these style of games that you've seen. Uh, the larger circles with the little skull in it means you're coming up against a stronger enemy straight away. But there's only one of them. Some of them can spawn other enemies, though. Quite a problem. Um, fight. Wow, he takes out dudes in one hit, huh? Intimidation. Shooters have a 10% chance to cast fear on attack for two seconds. So as long as the opponent's attack is lower. So these are the mutations that you get. Um, if we go up to here now, we can see it's up here. That's the one that we just picked up. And we have frugality. 50% chance to loot an item back when a human dies. I don't think that worked for the items that we previously had. Yeah, no, don't think so. Onwards. All right, so these are zombies, I think. God damn, they're strong too, huh? Wow. Uh, we do have to buy some people now. I've got 22 bucks. We got a couple of weapons, which is nice, which means we can take advantage of the, uh, the buff that we had before. Turn some of these dudes into shooters. They do level up as well. The more enemies they kill or the more battles they're part of, they do get stronger. People permadie for each run. Yep. Yep. It's uh, it's a, a fodder game. All right. Let's make... Uh, I don't know how much health he has left now. Unless they... Can you not... Uh, hello? Why can he not pick it up? Maybe this is one of the ones that had the ring that I put on. Because I think it can only become one type of class. Alright, we're going to put you back here. Buy another one. Buy the other gun. Alright, couple of shooters. Can you take a ring? No, you... I don't understand that just yet. Oh, hold up. The ring did change his type of class. They're mages. Receive the Thunderbolt ability. Different ability levels require three out of four people with different items. Okay. No wonder they're weak. They're mages. And they're flying everywhere now. The one with the most health at the front taking damage. I mean, that's... So we've got 120... Vladimir the Wise. He's an egghead. 
You need two two more humans of this class with different items. Okay, okay. I think I, I'm starting to understand that. Um, you can sacrifice humans to get food as well. That's another interesting point. Let's go in here. It looks like a hamburger. Yeah, all right. Let's put Vladimir at the front. I don't even know if he's a tank or not. 130. And these guys have 60. Okay, yeah, they're a lot weaker. Okay, well, let's go. Get that range, baby. Oh, hell yeah. Shit, Vladimir's taking a beating. Alright, so this... Buy two food for two tokens. We currently have... Each human... So when you feed, each human consumes one, and there's three levels of food, right? Got it. I think I understand. Buy three food for three tokens. Okay. Get him. Oh. God damn it. Okay, that's a shame. Pretzel. A stale pretzel. It's a different character class, that one. Rabbit in a hat? That would be another type of mage, right? Yes. Heart full of secrets. Obviously, we don't have much cash. That is nine. Oh my god. I'm gonna regret this. Oh, he's wonderful. I love him. The pretzel has a lot of health. Oh, I scuffed it. Oh, 270 extra health. Ah, that would have been really good. Oh, well. Um. Yeah, say lovey. All right. Uh, this is a dead end room. Or can we backtrack? Dead end room. So this is a boss. You've got a couple of summons here as well. Like minions, I guess. Ow. Oh no. Pay attention, lads. Good stuff. Oh, this is just the elevator down. And that's it. Next floor. You can backtrack, but it wastes hunger, so you want to minimize it. Understood. One-armed bandit. Puny humans come across a giant rusty robot in a cowboy hat, spinning an old-school revolver in a single hand. Whoa, humans, finally, let's play. I desperately need to play rock, paper, scissors with you. If you win, you receive 10 tokens. If you lose, I take five. No cheating, shall we? Well, I won. Twice. It's a tie, let's try again. God, you'd be mad not to, right? 33% chance to lose 5, a 33% chance to gain 10. If interested, there's an options in the settings to make it so they have health bar. Thank you, Chaos Doom. Appreciate that. Um, let's keep going. Hi again. Oh, God. Okay. Show HP bars. Got it. Oh, that's better. Now we can see who's who and what's what. Our shooters are nearly dead, and you cannot heal them from us, from what I can tell. But we now have tons of cash. Alright, we're buying the pretzel. 
that's our tanky dude we'll put him right up front right here you can get healer class right on this is another mage I think I'll skip that I'll buy another cart though they lose speed I'm still trying to determine if that's good or not I don't know again plenty of cash so but you're you're absolutely right you do not want to stack your team too much because um yeah you'll be you'll be in the shit then and you can also sacrifice people so you send this guy over here and he's like oh what's over oh i'm dead now and you get one food per human probably best not to do that i would imagine and stick to buying food just because um probably better value Yes, it's much better about you. Yep. You can get healer class humans. What? So we just hire them and see what's what? Or do we need an item for them to become healers? <clears throat> you get items to make them healers, right? Um, I don't think you can heal them. Let's see what upgrade does. Upgrade costs two tokens. Oh, that's a chance to upgrade the items that are currently available, I think. Right, we just have to keep going, I think. Feel good? Go pretzel man. Oh yes, now we're talking. It's a shame they don't... Oh, there we go, look at that. Just a sword, 160 health, 40 damage. First aid kit. Yeah, we gotta buy the first aid kit. Do your job, son. We're gonna put you in the middle of... So here's a question. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Can you make it so that they can target the enemies specifically, or is it completely automatic? Should I get the sword too? We're currently sitting at eight people and we have to feed. Oh, we do have a hamburger shop coming up. Did you heal anyone or are you useless? All right, 11 food for 10 tokens. So that's 1.1 for one, which is actually the best value as far as I can tell. I might buy... Um, all of that. Okay. Well, they. I guess they... They heal based on the amount of time that they're active for during a battle. So if it ends really quickly, they might only get like a heal up, right? Oh, pretzel man going down. Oh my God. Healer, what the hell is wrong with you? Tower shield, 143 health, 15 defense. I think he's healed this shooter maybe once from what I can tell. He's definitely not prioritizing who he should be prioritizing. I'll take one of these. My pretzel man's going down, so. Priority nearest first? No idea. Try putting Pretzel in a corner with the healer. Good call. Let's let's hang back, shall we? How far back can you go? Here. 
I might lose my shooters now, but that's okay. They do a lot of damage. I'd like them to level up again. And what we could do is actually, if Pretzel Man gets healed, fingers crossed, um, we then take the lowest shooter out and, and swap them out. I mean, I know that's kind of cheesy, but I'll roll with it. Well, it kind of worked. It was a very pathetic heal, and I lost someone already. God damn it. All right, mutations. What do we got? Fury. Fighters damage is increased by 10 with every attack. Attack bonus. Tank receives plus 40% to attack. Deja Vu allows you to go back in time once per level, returning to the time when puny humans were still alive. Hmm. Hey, you tactic. How you doing tonight? We got two sandwich shops here. Um... Allows you to go back in time once per level. Oh, look, we did get our shield returned. That's nice. I'll take. Tanks. Tanks for the memories. Receive the taunt ability. Different abilities levels require three, four, five with different items. You need two more humans of this class with different items. Okay. Having tanks with stronger attack and taunt would be pretty dope. We'll roll with it. So how do we get these? Sale. A random item in every shop is 25% cheaper. Oh, I can just straight up buy it. Oh. Well, okay then. Eggheads blow up when killed, dealing 20 damage. Puny humans restore 10% max HP when fed. I'm guessing a puny human is not any one of our main classes, correct? Blitz. Fighters receive plus 50 to attack speed. Semi-idle games make you feel like an adult? Frogler. <laughs> okay. Next level, 40% cheaper. So I don't know how to select these. These are the ones that we've we've earned, right? Shooters use rubber bullets that ricochet one time, hitting additional enemies. Oh, that sounds good. So has that been now purchased? Is it active? We good? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. How's the snow near me? In California? No, we're, we're good. Taunt is not active yet. Look at, look at Pretzel Man. He's hardly getting heals. Come on, dude. Make me so disappointed. Forty states got a ton. Oh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm in LA. No, it's, it's, it's cool, but it's not like, yeah. Well, I'm not complaining about the weather at all. Oh, that ricochet though. This healer is freaking useless, man. Trying to get some games in while working or other adulting actions. See, I wouldn't call this... Like, yes, it's technically... Well, it's not even an idle game, is it? It's, it's very interactive. Same as L Loop Hero, like... Which I can't wait for, by the way. It's still, it's still very much, like, it's not, it's not a, an idle game at all. Like, it plays by itself, but if you just let it run, you, you die. 
that's it and then you need to sort of re-up right an idle game is like clicker heroes or whatever do we want to buy another cart full of secrets it is on sale let's buy two more people got two lab boys can i slow this dude down let's put him right at the back just heal or do something Cryon. Oh, dude, I cannot wait for Loop Hero. We played it. We played the demo and I finished it in about three hours. Well, finished it. I didn't upgrade everything, um, but I didn't actually need to. We got lucky. I was I had like this much HP left when I died eventually. Oh, sorry, when the boss died. What's up, Jeff? Good to see you, man. This is boss, huh? So we could technically either summon the boss or or go get more sandwiches. I think we have enough food. Let's eat. Healer, just do your job. Oh, a lot of people are gonna die. Holy shit, this guy hits. Yep, there goes my entire team. Better start doing the damage. Oh good, now the healer's punching. Brilliant. Mage gets all the XP. All right, let's roll. <laughs> crocodile head. Crocodile faced humanoid falls on your team from above. Just to be clear, the faces of is where a human face would be. Just to be clear, the face is where a human face would be. I'm sorry, that's the most redundant explanation of a crocodile-faced humanoid falls on your team. No? Am I... There's no time to fight back. Nika immediately realizes her head is in the toothy maw. Oh, we got events. A cross-eyed face looks at her straight from the maw, saying, Omewa Chikao. Then the crocodile face lets the victim go and asks, What did he say? Nika replies, Something about magical girls. I'm not sure. Let me see again. I don't believe he recognized me, which is only natural, as I tend to maintain social distance from teeth. How about instead of answering, we just skin you for a suitcase and a couple of leather belts? You know what he'd say if he'd recognize you? Damn, wrong again. Here, have some dumplings for your trouble with that. Crocodile face. I wonder what crocodile face looks like. So weird. Disappears in a door that wasn't there a second ago, leaving you 10 dumplings. Dora Hedora reference. Some kind of anime thing. Okay. Boy, oh boy, they, they've chosen their audience well. Um, right, we, can't, we finally have a fighter. <laughs> Uh, the good news is that I still have a bunch of items, including the pretzel. I'd like to maybe upgrade. Let's see if the upgrade rerolls. Nope, just shop level two. These didn't change at all. Hmm. He looks like a human, but with a crocodile face, where a human face would... Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I get it now. Can you post a link? You can. I won't look at it. If you want me to see something, throw it in that channel right there. All right, we need, uh, we need a couple of people here. Buy the items from the shop before you upgrade? Mm, not so sure about that. Unless I have to re-roll. Well, we got a special item here. An Elden Charmed Ring. Can I give that to my 
my mage, can I unequip him? I bet you I can't. That would be too good. Let's see. Not once they've got an item, they're locked in, huh? Okay, well, we will, we will take another mage. See, I wanted the level 5 guy to look like that. God damn it. Alright, we need pretzel guy. Chef bombs the middle. Uh, we got another mage. That's three mages. Ugh. I'm having trouble with the forced perspective here. Put you up here. Get another cart guy. What else we got? Cart full of toxins. So we're starting to get different types of items now. Instead of releasing a full unfinished early access, they just share a more polished demo. Daedra, the Steam had a um, an event surrounding demos. That's where we're. That's where a lot of these really cool demos are coming from. It just so happens that a lot of them are roguelikes. Okay, not the best team in the world, but it'll do. A lot of people, including myself, got burned too much by early access and Kickstarter games that never delivered and turned out to be junk. Fair. Do these guys get a last name when they get an item? That's a good question. Wait till we buy the next one. Because we don't have any regular humans right now and I wonder if their name is based on their class Harry Moon the mage Anastasia Moon the mage and Ni Nika Madoka the mage oh I have to fight in this room Okay, a lot of localized damage despite, he must be casting a debuff. That's a fair trade, a boss for an entire enemy, it's dope. Uh, I will buy one of those. Name is based on class, thank you Primer Dino. You haven't seen game demos in a decade, <laughs> right? The good old days. What's that room there? Press tab to zoom. It doesn't actually show me what it is. Uh oh, this might not be good. Pretzel man's gonna go down quick again, despite him having a ton of health. Holy shit, guys, focus on... Oh my God. Yep. Cool. Well, all of his levels conferred over to somebody else. Nope, that's still the same guy. Un unscratched. What a legend. Ah, crap. I've made a huge mistake. Well, that was fun. Ah! Choose class skills and items carefully. Look for synergies and better prices. Okay. Start over main menu, rage quit. All right, this time we've got two healers. Crash cart, first aid kit, 
and a boxer interesting um so let's check the humans first this one's named v dorothy killer 99 nicolay and zakar well i'm not even gonna try to man mancunucci um let's put the healers both at the back maybe take a different formation a little bit all right punch him oh jesus Oh, my boxer survived. Holy shit, what is that? Dark Mantle. Cultist. Receive the Call of Cthulhu ability. Different ability levels require three... Three from four. See, I don't understand that terminology right there. If anyone has any clarification of what three slash four means, let me know. Healers are going to try to focus on attacking. Of course they are geniuses they went to medical school you know so the cultist is actually five plus 100 percent was that crit i guess the second uh this one seems to scale with level interesting three or four basic uh, triggers at three stronger at four okay got it got it got it got it got it Get another boxer. Crash cart guy. Oh, I didn't get the weapon. Oh, well. Okay. My bad. Put you up here. Mr. Frontline himself. Very small first floor, huh? Get him. Oh, there we go. That's better. Bops him. Yeah, I need food, huh? Got to keep keep my team in tip-top shape. Don't get surrounded now. Oh, he actually got a heal. Wow. Amazing. I feel like Michael Scott running around saying, It's happening. did it again idiot ironically I didn't even need to buy one of those people all right so we have a boss there When in a room with teleport, click on another room to teleport to move there immediately. Oh, dope. Generally, it's better to hold off eating food. Can you explain that? Like, you just get more out of it. So you suffer like a 20% penalty here, but wait until it's down to here, maybe. What's up, Rusk? How you doing tonight, man? So I don't know what that symbol means. I thought it was like an elevator up. Clearly not, since this is a boss or a stronger enemy champion. God, they hit hard. Upgrade. Understood. Splash. Eggheads attack deal 20% splash damage. Right. So frugality we always have, which is nice. We're going to take sail again. Metabolism. Puny human humans restore ten percent max when fed. Mana bonus. All units receive plus thirty to mana. Health bonus. And to get there, I guess I have to unlock. Oh, it's just a path. I wonder if I need both to get there. Spiky armor. Tanks return fifteen percent back to the attacker. 
Evasion. Healers have a 30% chance to evade enemy attacks. Thick skin. Newbies. Ah, okay. So they're all puny humans. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. But a newbie would be one, and like a non-class. The more you eat, the less money you can spend on upgrading people. So upgrades are definitely the most important, huh? Okay. Got it. Understood. Thank you, Chad. Okay, so then later we hold out then. Oh, I can equip uh, the boxing gloves, which we'll do. And we'll move someone into the front line. By large quantity in Zerg Rush. Like unskilled people? Just, just throw them all in there? <laughs> I love it. Healer leveled up. Please do something. Oh my god. Alright, down we go. With the armor buff, it might work. We need a ton of cash to get there, though. Stop, before you go, tell me, how many cars can you see on these images? Uh, three. What is this stupid test? I can't see any whole cars in this square broken into several smaller squares. What images are you high? I'm just reading text and picking dialogue options. Obvious reference to capture, but... Um, three people emerge from the dark. Their faces filled with wisdom or maybe blissful ignorance. Depends on who you ask. Our android siblings, there's so few of us left. Let us brave this maze together. I don't think we're androids, although if I'm honest, I have no idea how to check. Quite so, android siblings, let's walk together. Three people join your team. It's likely they're not androids, just insane, but you're in no position to be picky. Okay. Grav gun. Wow, that's an interesting and unique weapon. Um, well, then maybe we should Zerg Rush. I don't know. This is good for a tank, but it's a techie item or an, an egghead item. We currently do not have any of. Oh, this this one came equipped. Pleasant surprise. Put you back here. We'll try to uh, we'll try to do the Zerg thing on the next game I'll try to play this one straight okay well then this is also the same get one of them Uh, the cultists. What's the range on this guy? Do we know? What's up, beast? How you doing, man? Long range, cool. We will put him at the back then. Um, I might... I might actually trade you... For you. Just for now. Buy a mage too. We can afford it. That's nine people. There goes all my food if I eat now. So I have two options here. Still doesn't tell me what each room does. This one has a slight uh, layer to it. Go through here first. Here we go. Up 
Good shit. That's my boys. Get in there. Oh, he nearly bit it. He's fine. A periodic periodic table. 234 health. That's a tank item. There's another another cultist there as well. Oh, we currently do not have any tanks. Zephronaut, what's up, man? Good to see you. Should buy some more food, yeah. All right, boss. So I do need to backtrack, unfortunately. Oh god. AoE. Wow. All right, we'll we'll go back. I know that's going to cost me a little bit. Ugh. Wow, it's going to cost me a hell of a lot actually. Just a strong room. Okay. Oh, wow. They got stuns, too. Yeah, I wonder if it was not worth backing, backing up like that. I'll take that. Mm, I wish this wasn't so expensive. That's awfully expensive, isn't it? Rocky's gloves. Yeah, we'll take another pair of those. Got it. Thank you, Chaos. Oh, that's a new room there. Oh, yeah. Tank's going down. We got mutation. Let's have a look. Super punch. One shooter's attack deals one and a half times damage for 30 mana every five seconds. What exactly is mana and how does it relate to us? Super punch. One tank's attack deals two times damage for 30 mana. Attack bonus. Mages receive 50% to attack. I've only got one mage. Three rerolls, two. Intimidation. Lancers have a 10% chance to cast fear on attack for four seconds, so long as the opponent's attack is lower. Interesting. Splash, tanks attack deals 20% splash damage. Fast reload. All ability cooldowns are 1.3 times lower. Three fighters form a link. And it's split damage. Wow. Fear is a strong thing. Oh, we don't have any Lancers, though. Not much point. I'm going to reroll again. Explosive attack. Fencers use explosive projectiles that deal 20 to splash damage. Wade dice. All abilities are 1.3 times more likely to trigger. Fast reload. That's the same one again. Hmm. Go down here and have a look. Oh, Jesus. That's a little bit cruel, isn't it? Don't you dare. One more push. Another zombie bites the dust. Oh, I get... To, wow, this is... Look at this. The whole narrative game now. We get choices with uh, consequences, no doubt. I was charging the battery. 
but the zombie part of the machine broke. There's a lab with T-virus samples on this level. Bring me one and I'll shower you in gift. You want me to bring you a virus that turns people into bloodthirsty monsters? To frighten a poor slave into producing power? I'll give you 30 tokens. So where did you say this lab was? I've marked it on your map, I'll be waiting. Quite a distance. Maybe we can teleport there. Have a look. All right, this should be okay. Ow! 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 Oh god. Healer, absolutely useless. There's a shop directly above us. So I can't teleport there. It means we have to walk there. God, this map is massive. Let's go to the shop. I need more dudes. Uh-oh. I'm gonna need a lot more dudes, apparently. Healer's getting up there. Pretty dope. Eggheads attack deal splash damage. So we definitely want more of those. Oh, we still... We got some of our items back. That's dope. Let's stack that up already. You should be changing the position of your humans quite often to preserve them. Oh, cycling for health's sake? Okay. Keep that in mind. Alright, so let's get... Um, The guy hiding behind the table is a tank, actually. he's He's got a taunt ability, I think. Or he doesn't yet, but he will eventually. Let's get a couple of these. Screw it, let's get the lot. Probably going to regret that. Okay, so we have two egghead types at the moment. ahead of us. Yeah. I think you can only teleport to places you've already discovered. Yeah, range dudes are pretty dope. Thank you, Chad. That's what I thought would be the case. Zerg doesn't work against the AoE Sawblade, guys. Oh, good. <laughs> uh, this might be a little bit of a tough battle, huh? Get him. Oh, wow. That is good damage. Yeah, keep that up. Healer doing his absolute best there. His finest work. 
Another grav gun? Uh, might as well, huh? There's the Elden Charmed Ring, though. Not for 10. Buy another grab gun. It's a Half-Life 2 reference, in case you were curious. Is this the soundtrack of my music? No, it's the game music. I, not my choice. Yeah, the, I think attack speed would be an amazing upgrade if we ever get the chance to do that. Seems like the T-Virus is in the wild already. Glad no one got infected. Well. Cool. Oops, I guess we better return to the mad scientist. So we lost one of our own dudes, who was very badly damaged and most likely wouldn't get healed by my absolute dickhead of a healer. He's still got a name, Igor. When you upgrade the shop, it adds another another item permanently to all shops. Oh, no way. Cool. I like it. I think putting the healer closer to the front, huh? We are going where? Oh, I could have actually teleported back from that room. Oh well. I can't make him human again, but he's welcome to stay here. The benefits include a daily portion of brains. What do you prefer? 30 tokens or secret knowledge? I'm going to go for secret knowledge. Eggheads can now summon buff turrets much faster. Okay, cool. I'd like to see them do it. We did lose someone. What do we lose? One of our fighters, right? Emitters are built 500% faster. It's okay. Let's check that out. Where are you? To activate this ability, you need one more human of this class with different items. Hmm. That's a lot faster. Hell yeah, it's a lot faster. That's easy enough. Why did I do that? <laughs> Being closer to walk the other way. Oh well. This guy's last name is House. That, I, we get it. You guys watch TV. I understand. Oh look, it's automatically spread them out too. That's weird. Good damage. Do it. Yes. Is he gonna survive? Probably not. He did it anyway. So we can still clear out the extra room. Tanks with different items. Yeah, I got it. Chaos, thank you. You don't? What's the reference? The small TV show called um, House. It's pretty obscure. I, I understand why people might not have heard of it. Alrighty. It's an amazing show. I've watched the whole thing probably 
three times, I think. Meatball. As humans descend, a new monster appears, a huge red ball made of biomass with tentacle-like suction cups all over it that resemble a crown. The ball is slowly rolling towards humans. Stand together and face the ball as a dense formation of shields, swords, and stale pretzels. Spread out. Stand as far from each other as you can and wait for the ball to pass. Apes together strong. Let's go. Darkest dies. Splattered by the horrible ball. Seems like not all problems should be tackled as a group. The ball's meat seems edible though, and Darkest was kind of chubby too, so humans gained 10 food. Unfortunately, all tanks got infected and now have 20%. Sorry, 20 less health. Brutal. Upgrade cost, two tokens. Upgrade cost, three tokens. Are you sure it increases the number of items? Oh yeah, no, that is what it's doing. But it's also giving us a higher chance at rarer items. Uh, after we reroll as well. Okay. And do one more. Panzer poo. 680 health. What? That's nine. Dr. Octopus's claws. Um, we definitely should get one of these. Maybe both of those. Just go all in on... We can't. So it'll be the, the meatball and something else. It doesn't matter which one we get. So I, I don't know what's better here. 550 health. 140 attack. Turret. 400. 100 attack. Oh, range 6. Okay, now I understand. Okay. All right, one meeple. Thank you. Um, fourteen defense. I think I'm gonna take the turret. This is ready to go. I don't think... Can we just deploy that? No. No, no, no. It's dividing it up in class. Okay. You go here. You go here. And... Let's bring you forward. And you over here. Put Dr. The turret guy here. All right, meatball, front and center, table on the left, and then turret guy. That is a reference to Team Fortress 2. I mean, it's a pretty solid team. Honestly, I didn't even expect to last this long. Cool, so now from now on, every shop has a chance of rarer items and additional uh, additional items to buy. You swear to God it was the lupus episode? I had a t-shirt once that was said uh, it's not lupus. Funny t-shirt. Not everyone got it. Cool, man. Keep rolling. Enemy's getting stronger, huh? Oh! Alright, we got a table back. That's saving grace, I suppose.
This would be good to get, I think, for five. Let's do that. Next time we feed, be better. We've still got our healer. Excellent coffin. 867. Jesus. What does that give them? How can I see the taunt? That could be pretty good, huh? We could buy another table for cheap too. These guys are going to go down so fast though. Oh, that's right. They have to be different classes, don't they? Yeah, my bad. It's okay. Let's get that upgrade down here. Healer needs to be in the second row. Wow, lots of dudes. And they're all zombies. Okay. Just hold them back long enough. Uh-oh. Nice work. Attack speed bonus. Throwers receive 30% to attack. So a thrower is a different class. Okay. Deja vu allows you to go back in time once per level. Returning to the time when puny humans were still alive. Mutation active. Fencers receive... We don't have any of those either. Let's see what we can get here. Explosive attack. Tanks use explosive projectiles that deal 20 splash damage. Or, what's this? Perforating shots. Shooters use perforating shots that deal damage to all enemies behind the primary target. And we currently have one shooter. Yeah, the tanks have to be different... Um, Different types, three different items. Let's roll again. Critical strike. Tanks have a 20% chance to deal three damage on three times damage on attacks. Pretty good. Splash, lancers again. We don't have those. Take that. Fine. Come on, meatball guy. Stay alive. Hopefully we save the meatball if he goes down. That would be really good. We've got 30 bucks to spend. Alright, what I might do... Hmm. Let's roll. There's a fridge for six. Alright, we'll take the fridge. That gives us taunt. And then if meatball guys, no big deal. Let's say meatball guys. Meatball dies. Candle skull. Rotate out the damage front line. go all in on the heal here. It's like the only healing skill that I can get. Spiky armor. Is there anything for engineers here? Explosive death. Eggheads blow up when killed, dealing 20 to... I mean, that's... Not exactly what I was hoping for. Spiky armor.
I wonder if we can turn our eggheads into tanks. Some of them have pretty decent HP, right? No, take that back. Oh, 550, okay, not bad. 520 on the turret guy. Okay, so Taunt is active. Wade Dice. All abilities are 1.3 times more likely to trigger. And Critical Strike as well. Okay. Let's go up first. We'll teleport back. That'll save us one room. Unless the teleport also costs. No, it's instant, right? Candle Skull goes with Cultists. Right, no, no, I get that. I'm just not sure whether I want to increase my team to that size. So let's just leave it for now. Buy more food. another burger shop over there. We'll get that on the way back if we need it. Oh, that's right. They all heal now when... Got it. It's a Doctor Who reference. It doesn't really matter if we put them in the back row anyway. They've, they've got um, taunts, so... Icarus, this is called Despot's Game. It is a demo. Quite substantial. Having fun with it. Oh man, they hit hard. Alright, we lost... We lost one guy, one of our tanks, which means we lose our ability. What is that? Cursed contract. I wouldn't mind another shooter either. Or we could roll. Alright, let's re-equip the table. Level 5. He's got 371. These guys shouldn't even be at the front. Who should be? Hey, let's put you there instead. That's fine. Meatball's still there, but he's looking a lot worse for wear. Level that up again. 30% of their max HP is healed now. Next time they eat. Um, okay. Yeah, this is costing me a lot in food. Oh, that was another one I could have teleported back. God, Meatball's not getting picked on right now. Yeah, Chaos Doom, I, I got it. Understand. Um, yeah, let's just 
just keep buying more food. Keep them fed. That team, it is draining funds very, very quickly. Go all the way to starving without too much problems, you think. Oh god, there goes Meatball. Oh! Because my entire freaking team. That would have been useful. We're dead. Wow. Try again. Dang. That was rough. Okay, so this time I'm going to upgrade just once. Or actually, how much is that next one? Three. Okay, fine.